Hey guys, in my last video on 3D glasses, I briefly touched on the idea that in the movie theaters, two projectors each project a slightly different image with different polarizations. And then these different polarizations are then filtered out by the 3D glasses, creating a 3D image. And while this is all true, a lot of you guys wanted me to go into further detail about polarization and how it works. And what I thought personally to be a pretty simple topic turned out to have a lot more to it. But before we can talk about polarized light, we need to learn how light behaves. So light at its core is an electromagnetic wave, but it doesn't just vibrate on a single plane like a rope would. It vibrates on many different planes. So if we look at the cross section of the rope vibrating, we see that it vibrates up and down on a single plane. However, unpolarized light, like the light coming from the sun or from a lamp, vibrates in many tons of different directions, way more than I can actually show here. But for simplicity's sake, let's just uh, simplify it to having a vertical and a horizontal plane. Now we can think about polarization filters like the ones found in polarized glasses, a lot like a picket fence. So with this little gate that we'll use to uh, model our picket fence, we can see that if the light is vertically polarized, it'll be able to go through, but if it's horizontally polarized, it will be blocked. And then of course, if we flip it over, on the other hand, the vertical light is blocked, whereas the horizontal light is able to go through. Now the light that comes out of these polarized filters are especially handy when you're out on the water. Now a pair of regular sunglasses like these will absorb about half of the light, but it absorbs light from all different polarizations equally. If we look out of a pair of polarized glasses, not only is a lot of light absorbed, but also a lot of the glare is also absorbed as well. Think about it, the unpolarized light is coming from the sun at about a 45 degree angle. Now because of this angle, most of the light that is reflected off of the water is horizontally polarized. So polarized glasses like these are vertically polarized, only allowing vertically polarized light through. And this blocks out most of the horizontally polarized glare. Now to make sure that glasses are polarized, we can actually tilt them 90 degrees, only letting in horizontally polarized light. As we can see, all of that glare returns. Now, linearly polarized glasses were great for reducing glare. However, we encounter a problem if we try to use linearly polarized light to create 3D movies. If you look at a linearly polarized screen, like an LCD computer screen, through linearly polarized glasses, we see that if we tilt the glasses or tilt our heads, we can see that the amount of light coming in varies a lot as the direction of the polarization on the glasses is not lined up with the polarization on the screen. And this can create a really big problem, as if you tilt your head too much in the movie theaters, the whole effect will be lost. So this is where circular polarization comes in. You see, light typically has two components that are perpendicular to each other, and on average, they will add up to a point between them, a single plane. And this would actually be polarized light, just to clarify, it's not a vertical and a horizontal plane of unpolarized light, it's actually a polarized plane that adds up in the middle between the two components. Now to make it linearly polarized light circularly polarized, we need to slow down one of the components by a quarter of a wavelength. And we see that if we do that, all of the peaks of the different points add up to create a circular pattern as they propagate through space. In the filter on 3D glasses, we can actually rip apart the two components and see that we have a linearly polarizing filter and we have a quarter wavelength plate which will slow down the one component by, well, a quarter of a wavelength. So in the glasses themselves, one of the lenses is circularly polarized clockwise and the other is circularly polarized counterclockwise. And when the different images are projected from different projectors onto the screen and are filtered out by the lenses, we can see that 3D image that we're all accustomed to. And the best part is that we can tilt our head as much as we want and it won't affect the image at all. On a side note, I think that light polarization really goes to show how complex our world is. We think that we can understand something as basic and fundamental as light, but when we really think about it and we really do more research into it, we see that there is so much more to it. I think that it really showed me that I know enough to know that I don't know that much. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video as much as I enjoyed creating this video, then please leave a like or subscribe. Thanks. Oh, look, it's a dolphin.